Hi, my name is Ayotunde Yoloye, and I'm the creative director here at Free Gift International. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Free Gift TV, so that you can continue to enjoy inspiring and uplifting Christian movies. God bless you. to give me an answer. Answer to The question I asked. The question is that. Ah, okay. You are wounding me. Is it the one about marriage? Yes, now. <laughs> so you were serious about that? I thought you were joking. Why would I joke about something so serious? Why not? Think about it. Both of us being married. Isn't that a joke? Is that all I am to you? A joke? Don't take it too hard, DJ. I like you. But I can't marry you. Why not? Two cannot work together unless they agree. I know. So what's the problem? Can't you see we are very different? You won't care. Opposites attract. That is normal. This is not normal. Our differences are too fundamental. She said no. Yes. Praise God. Is that all you have to say? Praise God. Lunke is not the one for you. That's why she said no. I bind the spirit of no in the name of Jesus. DG. Can't you see that you're fundamentally different? So what? What fellowship has light with darkness? I love Lunke. Oh, please, Deji. She's not even born again. I will convert her. I refuse to take no for an answer. She's not the one for you. I will not give God rest on this matter until Lunke agrees to marry me. Every obstacle to Lunke agree to marry me, I pull you down in Jesus' name. I reject no. I receive yes in the name of Jesus. Father, I will not give you rest until Lunke agrees to marry me. Holy Spirit, move. Ministering angels, what are you waiting for? Bring me a favorable response in Jesus' name. Now, favorable response. Come now. Bring me a favorable response. Okay. What is so important that it can't wait till the weekend? For God's sake, my wife is even on the premises. Are you out of your mind? I'm pregnant. How many weeks? Three weeks. Congratulations, Ronke. So, who is the father? What kind of a question is that? An honest one. You are the father. <laughs> no, no. You can't put the responsibility of this one on me. But we slept together a lot recently. So did Charles, Fred, and God knows who else. Go and do what you have to do. What's that supposed to mean? You are no longer a kid. Go take care of it. I am not having another abortion. Why not? Don't you know the risk involved? I have had three already. 
suit yourself. Go and give the pregnancy to someone else. I don't want to see you anymore. Tony. Tony. You come and Tony. You will? Yes, I will. Ah, thank you, Jesus. God, you are too faithful. <laughs> I'm so sorry that it took so long for me to say yes, but then I needed to be sure. Are you sure? Very sure. Do you want me to prove it? Prove it. Ow. I love you, Deji. Let me show you how much I love you. The devil is a liar. Lebro bobo sahataya ge. Mataya kuba santaya gadaya. Yepo sataya. Lebro mo satanda ya gata. Devil is a liar. Lebro bo saba. Gadosa. Balegea dodo satayalaba. Devil is a liar. Kadosha. Ya sata. Japa sataya kataya kataya. In the name of Jesus. Kala. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come out. Senior apostle, what's the matter? Demons in my car battery. Demons. Yes. My car refused to start. It has never faced to start before. The devil is a liar. Yes. Uh, Dicky, uh, do you have anointing oil? Uh, yes, I do. Yes, let me have it. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you. Please join hands with me so that we can lay hands on the battery and pray on it. In the name of Jesus. The Christ, devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. In the name of Jesus, we resist you. Yes. We bind you. Yes. We say, come out now. Come out. Come out now. Come out in the in name, the of, name Jesus. of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Come out of this car battery. Come out. In, in the, the name of Jesus Christ, let the Adosha Come out in the name of Jesus. The be destroyed. Come out now. In the name of Jesus Christ, Come out What is it? Can't you see that men of great faith are praying? Um, it will require more than the two of you to lay hands on the car to start. Why? Why? Are the demons the type that require prayer and fasting? No. It's just that you need more people to lay hands on the car to push it to start. What do you mean? You left your car light on all night and your battery is flat. How do you know that? I noticed that the car lights were still on very faintly when I arrived on duty this morning. Ah, no wonder. Something kept telling me to go and check my car during the video, but I bound it off. Thinking it was the devil. Attendance at church programs is dropping. And our financial position is not very good. Progress on the new church building project has been suspended due to lack of funds. It is becoming increasingly more difficult to finance the administration and even various programs of the church. We need to find a solution to this present financial problem. I think the congregation is trying. Really? Yes. Our present situation is normal. How can you say our present situation is normal? Normally, when a new church is being built, the congregation tends to leave. And the burden of building is left on a few people. Are we the only one constructing a new building? Look at the active facials down the road. Mm. Uh, true. They put up that uh, magnificent edifice within 18 uh -huh. months. And uh, money was never a problem. You can't compare us with active Faith church. Why not? They have a lot of big men in that church. Excuse me. Don't we have big men? 
and big women in our church. So how come we are struggling for funds to complete our building after three and a half years? Because they know how to raise funds better than us. Hmm. So hmm. you're saying we need to find new and innovative ways of uh, raising funds for the church? Exactly, ah. Pastor. In that case, I have a leading that we should uh, get members of the congregation to sell this, uh, buy a block ticket to raise money for the building. Yes, we can raise money from a wide range of people who believe in our vision. Could they work? Why not? How much can you raise from petty traders and all these year office workers? Hey. If you want to raise real money, you will launch an appeal fund and go to the rich people in the society who have this money. It does not matter whether they are Christian or not. What is the difference between that and begging? Mm -hmm. If it is begging in as long as you get the money, the end will justify the means. I move that we launch an appeal fund and raise the money. Carnality. The fundamental issue here is prayer. There's a principality laying siege over the financial prosperity of this church. Mm. Yes! We have to bind the strong man and break his hold over our financial prosperity. If we pray more, everything will be okay. There you go again. Over spiritualizing simple matter. Have we not been praying in this church before? But faith without work is dead. Prayer is the key. I don't think that the church should launch an appeal fund and certainly not raise money from unbelievers. Why not? We have tried to raise the money from believers and even our congregation and it has not worked. I move that we put the issues to vote, Pastor. This is not a democracy. We cannot be putting every issue to vote. What is there to fear? Eh? If it is not of the Lord, it will not stand. <laughs> Let's put it to issue to vote, oh, Jerry Pastor. Okay, um, we will put it to vote before the elders council. Mm -hmm. Deji, I need twenty thousand. For what? Expenses. What expenses? Your expenses are too high. Is it my fault that your daughter is too much? Ah. What is that supposed to mean? We don't eat like that in our family, so it must run in your family. Ah, Runke, I don't have the money now. Go and look for it. Where? Anywhere. I don't care. Just get it. It is your responsibility as a father and a husband to provide for us. I know. I am hungry. Are you not hungry? I am hungry. So why are you wasting time? Go and get the money. I don't know what to do, Ronke. Can we pray about this? Pray for what? Don't tell me such nonsense. Just go and get the money. From where? Must I teach you everything? Go and borrow it! Silifa, uh, if any of those clothes should go missing, I will hand you over to the police. So, ba? Yes, ma'am. How much do you say you want to borrow again? 50,000. I, I can only give you 20,000. Oh. Okay, Sister Kalista. Eh? 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 Who are you calling Sister Kalista? You don't have respect, though. Am I your mate? In fact, I'm not giving you any money again. Ah, yeah, but ah, I'm ah, shop. Please don't be annoyed. Come and be going. I, I am sorry, ma. I'm sorry, I didn't mean any disrespect. Don't you know that I am a mother in Israel? Ah, I am sorry, mother in Israel. That's better. Why will you pay back? End of the month. When I receive my salary. Uh -huh. Ha! <laughs> Thank you, ma. God bless you. Thank you. Ma, love you. Ah. Thank you. Ah. Ah, 
<laughs> Hi. Hi, Sidre. When did work stop? Um, six weeks ago. I see. We are hoping that uh, the buy a block ticket will succeed in uh, raising enough funds to restart construction soon. So, how much money does the church need? Uh, Three million every month to fund the church building projects and uh, all other activities. So, That's a lot. Uh, yes, uh, but uh, we are very optimistic about the Buy a Block project. Our target is to raise 15 million. God can do it. I know he can, but honestly, I don't know if my faith is enough. Our faith, man of God. I am trying, but the church is not growing. Membership is dropping every day. Mm. Call this guy. I believe he should be able to help. John Elias. Who is he? Mr. Elias is a church growth consultant. He's been involved with several churches with the same issue and they've recorded phenomenal growth mm. in membership and their finances. I see. Yeah. I believe you should be able to draw from his wealth of experience to solve your problem. Thanks. I will give him a call. All right. Thank you, my friend. So, you take 10 tickets. Okay, that will be 10,000. Okay, I'll send you my bank details. Thanks. Bye. Uh -uh. So, you are selling this uh, buy a block ticket? Yes. How many have you sold? 75. What about you? I did not even collect the tickets. Why, ma? How much can we make from this ticket? Huh? Is it this more money that I want to complete our church building? But it adds up, ma. Ah. True. I have collected 75. If 200 of us do the same, we will hit the target of 15 million. How many have you sold, DJ? Uh, I haven't sold any yet, but I plan to do so. Me? I am not selling. I have told the pastor what to do. If we do what we are supposed to do, the church will not have any financial problem. I agree. In fact, if only we, the church elders, do what we're supposed to do, the church will not have any financial problem. Uh -huh. Yes. How? If we, the members of the council, Pay our tithe faithfully. The church will not have financial problems. Mm. So it's only the few millionaires like me that should sponsor the whole church. Are we the one that kill Jesus? Ah, ah. Do you think it's easy to make all this money? Uh, but it is God Himself who gives power to make wealth. He says, "Bring uh, your offerings and tithes into His storehouse." Why would that not be easy for you to see? Why you could don't make much money? If I had so much money, I wouldn't have any problem paying the tithe. Have you paid your tithe this month on even the little that you make? I haven't paid yet. No battle. You know I have been having some financial difficulties. So, you have not paid your tithe and you are opening your mouth to ask me to pay? Uh, things have just been a bit tight now. Normally, I pay... 10% of what is left from my salary. After deducting tax and some specific expenses. Uh -uh. You mean you pay tithe only on your salary? Yes. Hmm. What about your other sources of income? <laughs> oh yeah. Those ones belong to me. Ah. Since I didn't really work for them. No wonder you're having financial difficulties. No wonder the church is having financial challenges. What do you mean? How do we expect the church members to give. When we ourselves are not giving, but we are giving unfaithfully, the revelation that we the leaders have will be the limit of the experience of the congregation. So, we are the cause of the problem of the church. Exactly. Uh -huh. DG. Yes, dear. 
We need washing up liquid and toilet paper. Okay. Deji. Yes, dear. Are we going to the hairdresser today? Okay. I need 6,000. Okay. Leave it for me before you go. Okay. <laughs> Deji. Yes, love. When you're coming back, make sure you stop at the shopping mall to get all the sanitizers. Okay, love. That's why you're saying, okay, okay. Don't come and tell me stories when you come back from church in the afternoon. Okay, love. Deji. Deji. Elias, you are here already. I thought I should come in a bit early so I could spend some time studying the word of the Lord. I see. Uh, you are also quite early for the elders meeting. Yes, I am. I just had to get away from the house. Why? To study the word of the Lord too? How I wish. My wife is in one of her cantankerous moods. You know my wife now? Yes, I do. When she's in that kind of mood, it is safer to leave the house. You know, Brailias, I am tired of all this marital stress. Every day, it's one problem or another. There is never a moment of peace. I don't know how I ever landed myself in such a relationship. Have you forgotten so soon? It was just five years ago. I didn't know it would end up like this. But the Lord warned you against the marriage, didn't he? Did. But you gave the Lord no rest on the matter with your prayers. So he had no choice but to give Ronka to you. I'm actually thinking of getting a divorce. Divorce? Don't even think about it. That is not an option open to you as a child of God. But I have a principality living in my house. Eh? The yoke around our necks is uneven. That is why the Lord warned us not to be unequally yoked with unbelievers. You made a covenant with her to marry her until death separates you. You cannot break your vow now because things are difficult. It is better not to have vowed than to vow and not keep it. In other words, the way I have laid my bed, I must lie on it. Exactly. But then, the Lord's grace is sufficient for you. God, what kind of life is this? God, please help me out of this mess. It is almost time for the meeting. Ah, Bri Elias. This your new car is fine. Oh, thank you. I really envy you. Why? You have made it. What do you mean I've made it? Huh? Look at you now. Your car, your job. You have made it. I didn't know those things are equivalent to making it. <laughs> if you didn't know it before, you better know it now that you have made it. The life of a man does not consist in the abundance of his possessions. I know the scripture. Then act on it. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Go to God through his word. Seek to know his will. He will direct your path and sort you out of your current mess. Please, pray for me, Brian Elias. Uh, it's already quarter past nine. This meeting was scheduled to start at eight o'clock. Where are the remaining elders? <laughs> they are busy elsewhere. <laughs> there are so many other things they believe they need to do apart from the work of the Lord. But it wasn't like this before. True. But then, 
times have changed. Mm. All sorts of people have joined the church with different reasons for joining. Some have come with behaviors that were unheard of before in our midst and have negatively influenced other members. Ah! Pastor, yes. Pastor, let's just start this meeting. It's getting late. Yes, so, look, don't waste our time. Time is money. We have been waiting for you to arrive for the last hour. It is you who have been wasting our time. <laughs> what a day. Let's just start the meeting, Abby. I hope this meeting won't take too long. Because I have a business appointment to meet by 10 o'clock. Uh, let us pray. Uh, 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 excuse me, Pastor. Before we pray, I would like uh, to suggest a suggestion. Given the short time that we have for this meeting, I don't think we should waste too much time in the praying and praising. Uh, because God already knows the thing we want even before we ask him. If we keep the prayer short, we have enough time to deliberate on the issue certain. Ah, uh -huh. Mother in Israel, mm -hmm. shouldn't we at least say the open prayer before you start making your suggestions? One day. Ah. I didn't say we shouldn't pray. Uh -uh. I did not say we should not pray. What I am saying is that the prayer should not be long. Uh -uh. After all, one knows those that are worshipping him. Uh, let us pray. Our Lord, we thank you for today's elders meeting. We ask that your spirit will lead us, even as we deliberate on the issues before us today. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Very short and direct. Those are the type of prayer we should be praying in this house. <laughs> there she go. Brethren, I have called this meeting today because I am aware that a lot of concern has been expressed, even by some of us, the elders about the state of the church's finances and attendance at church programs. I have taken the liberty to invite Mr. Elias to sit in at this meeting this morning. I believe you all know Mr. Elias. Yes, we do, sir. You're welcome, sir. Uh, thank you for inviting me. Mr. Elias will be observing our deliberations and he will be free to make suggestions as to how to solve our problems. Also, I'd like us to discuss the Buy a Block project. Our target was to raise 15 million Naira. But after three months, we were only able to raise 105,000 Naira. Who is it? I'm coming. What do you want? I want my daughter. We didn't organize the project properly. The ticket distribution could have been better. Yes. That was why the project failed. How many of us here personally bought any of the tickets? Oh. <sighs> Did any of us here buy? Huh. How many of us sold any of the tickets? If we really understand the economy of God as distinct from the economy of the world, we will not be thinking about how much we can withhold from God, but rather about how much we can give or do for God. The economy of the world, hmm. the economy of God. What's the difference? The economy of this world hmm. operates on the principles of buying and selling, okay. while the economy of God operates on the principle of giving and receiving. It is more blessed to give than to receive. Hmm. Could it be that the pressure for money we have placed on the congregation is making the members to leave the church? The services we hold are too long. That is why people are leaving. Services should not be more than two hours. But then, how do you explain the fact that when they leave here, 
They go to other churches, their service lasts for four hours. I don't think it's in length of service soon. Uh, because many of these uh, new churches, they, are, they have new technique and sophisticated equipment that they use to attract members to their church. Hmm. If it is new equipment and technique, we're talking, well, I've tried. We tried other things, but it didn't work. We bought new band sets, new LED projector, robotic light, digital keyboard, and even that uh, smoke machine. We will change the order of service. Mm. All this is not make any difference. Uh, maybe our publicity is too poor. Maybe if we use big billboards, social media, and the print media to advertise our church programs, people will come. That is not what will make people come. People are looking for miracles, signs, wonders, and the demonstration of raw power of God. Uh, a few crusades and uh, revivals we had organized were very, very successful. People were very excited at the demonstrations of the power mm. of God. Mm. Although many of us missed out because we came there for the program. Mm. Uh, that shouldn't surprise us, <laughs> considering our own track record of lateness. But then, at least, we still have the morning of healing and deliverance. Mm. The day of miracles and wonders. And the night of fire and power still to come in the end. Mm. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. How did you decide on these programs? We voted for them as usual. Mm. Did God approve these programs? Are you asking whether we paid? Of course we prayed. <laughs> we prayed. And what did he say when you prayed? What did he say? Didn't you listen to hear what he had to say about your plans? But he didn't say anything. So why are you still planning the programs? Because we felt a leading mm. to do it. And besides, everyone else is doing those types of programs. Mm. So we believe it was the right thing to do. Mm. Yes. Mm. When you use common sense, ah to complete a revelation from the law. The result is an aberration of the truth. When you run without the complete message from the law, you will spoil things. Hmm. Do you realize that God may not be in all the miracles, thunder and clapping, mm -hmm. but still reaching out to you in a still small voice? So what is the name of you? Hmm. Why have you come back now? I need a child. You did not know you needed a daughter when you told me to get rid of her. Well, things have changed. My wife and I can't have children. Too late. I have moved on. I'm married now. Does your husband know that our daughter is not his? thought as much. I want my daughter. Are you out of your mind? How can that even be possible? You are smart. You gave him a daughter that is not his. You figure a way to take her away. What indices will you use to measure when you have succeeded as a church? When the church has a membership of over a thousand people. Mm, well, not just a thousand people, but a thousand adults. Mm. When the church has many branches across the country. When the church is financially buoyant. When we have preached the gospel to the ends of the earth. When we have won many souls. When we have completed our church duty. Hmm. When people have an understanding of the power in the oil. It's interesting that you came up with all this. Because there is really only one performance measure that God is really interested in. And it is not listed here. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. It's not there. Not uh -uh. there. What is it? Knowing God. Uh -huh. Knowing God. Knowing God. Knowing God. We know that uh, knowing God is very important. But mm. you see all these things that are listed here. They are even more important. Let not any man glory in their wisdom, power, or riches. Mm. If he should glory, let him glory in this, that he knows the Lord. Mm. The knowledge of God mm. is sufficient to meet every need 
of the ministry, mm. they that know their God shall be strong and do exploits. Mm. You know God in this church. Mm. Mm. How many people have told you that you know God? Why should they tell us? <laughs> because if you know God, it will show and people will notice. Oh. Even if people did not tell us that we know God, me, I know mm. that I know mm. that I know God. Mm. Yes, so we know God. Yeah. If you do, then it wouldn't matter whether people call you by a title or not. You would rather be concerned about what heaven calls you. Mm. You will not need to be carrying anointing oil around like a talisman. Mm. But rather, we seek the true anointing that comes from heaven. Mm. If you know God, we'll not be importunate in prayers that are geared towards satisfying selfish desires. But rather, you will seek the will of your Father in heaven. You will hear His voice when He speaks. And certainly will not be telling me so boldly that you know God. Why shouldn't we tell you that we know Him? When we know Him? Ah! Because those who really know God realize that the more they know him, the more they realize they don't know him. Are you happy here? I thought as much. What can he offer that I can give you 10 times more? What do you propose? You leave him and come live in the place I prepared for you in Banana Island. I'm listening. You will own the house, two cars, and more than enough money every month to meet your need. Then what? And we live happily ever after. You, me, and our daughter. There is only one problem here. What is that? She is not your daughter. What do you mean? She is not my daughter. Have you forgotten? That. There was Charles, Fred, and God knows who else. If you don't give me what I want, I will spill the beans. I want my daughter. She is not your daughter. Then now get the hell out of my house. Uh, I still think that we know God in this show. We know That's God in this show. Then how come your members are still living in sin and living defeated Christian lives? Hmm. They cannot succeed beyond the knowledge of God they have. Why are many of them just surviving rather than prospering? Hmm. Why do they pray so much and accomplish very little? The Bible says in this world, we'll have many tribulations. Hmm. But be of good cheer. Christ has overcome the world. Uh, at least we are assured of uh, eternal life. <laughs> yes, what do you understand as eternal life? Eternal life means that our spirits will live forever. Yes. Where? In heaven. How about the spirit of sinners? They will live forever too. In hell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the sinner also has eternal life? Oh, too. He doesn't. Mm -hmm. But he lives forever. Uh, yes. Yes. So eternal life is not the same thing as living forever. Uh, oh my God. No, no, no. Yes, it is. You are confusing us. What is eternal life? This is life eternal. That you know the only true God and his son, Jesus Christ, whom he has sent. Eternal life is a function of your knowledge of God. The earth should be full of the knowledge of God as the waters cover the sea. This all sounds so new to me. I thought once you accept Christ, it guaranteed you eternal life in heaven. Mm -hmm. Once saved, all 
always say. Yes. No, he doesn't. At salvation, God's spirit begins to dwell in you. He creates a hunger for the knowledge of God that can only be satisfied through quality time spent with him mm. in prayers, the study of his word, and fellowship. Mm. The Lord's expectation is that you will feed this hunger. That is the whole essence of Christianity, a continuing desire to know God. But if this thing is so important, why hasn't the Lord revealed it to us before now? Because God will not reveal himself to you beyond your need or desire for him. Since you think you already know God, you do not seek him anymore. But brethren, there is much more to know about God. Continue to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. So, how do we become hungry for God? First, you must recognize that knowing God and desiring to please Him is the only thing that is important hmm. and not one of the things that is important. Then call unto Him. He will answer you. He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. Stop focusing on the church activities and focus on knowing the God of the activities. Acquaint yourself now with Him. Draw near to Him. And he will draw near to you. But if we were to stop focusing on all other things and pursue knowing God, won't we look so silly? It sounds so simplistic. Be still and know that he is God. Working with God is not always easy. But he will take you to greater heights. And things that once look impossible will look normal. It is he who will work in you, both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Brethren, Knowing God should be the one thing that we desire and not one of the things that we desire. Hmm. Mm. That is true. You speak with wisdom beyond your years. You really know God. No, I have not yet apprehended the reason for which I was called. I press on. The mark is yet before me. There are yet greater heights and depths of God that even I still seek. We will stand up. What is it? There is something I need to tell you. Please pray for me. I want us to start again. Lord, forgive us for walking in ignorance of you mm -hmm. and reveal yourself to us. Mm -hmm. Together, Grant us the grace to do the one thing that is needful. Pursuing the knowledge of you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.